monarchical regime in France with the French Revolution. Interesting enough, when Srila Prabhupada went to Paris in the 1970s, Srila Prabhupada spoke to the audience there and he said to the French people, he said, your country is famous for revolution. He said, so you should take now Krishna consciousness because Krishna consciousness is spiritual revolution. We want you to have a spiritual revolution and come out of the ignorance of materialistic life materialistic life which is just based on sense gratification is no better than the animals human life is not meant simply for solving economic problems the human life is meant for thoughtfulness and to for enlightenment and to understand knowledge like who i am and where i'm going what will happen at the end of life the end of my this life when I give up this body what will happen so this kind of knowledge this kind of information this has to be given and distributed taught to the people that that is spiritual revolution so the Krishna consciousness is revolutionary but peaceful revolution spiritual revolution you can see the system of politics you have on what some countries you have demo a democratic government which is a, a government elected by the people it's elected by the people it's meant to be for the benefit of the people but instead of benefiting the people in general it often simply benefits only the politicians or the people who are in power that they take advantage just as it happened uh, before Lord Buddha there was the Vedic culture there was a division of society you had a Brahminical class and the Kshatriya class and Vaishya and Sudra so before the time of Lord Buddha the Brahminas had become corrupted and they were encouraging people in animal slaughter instead of properly guiding the people towards enlightenment the brahmanas had become so degraded that they encouraged the people to slaughter animals in the name of vedic sacrifice so that resulted in the appearance of lord buddha and lord buddha led the people he led the people away from the vedas and when they come away from the vedas then you don't need brahmins anymore so in this way the brahminical culture had no significance anymore in the times of buddhism because in buddhist culture everyone is equal there's no question of brahmana and like so people thought this is very nice everyone is equal there's no discrimination there's no prejudice we're all equal of course it doesn't work out people say we're equal but actually we're you never see any society where everyone is equal even the communists they talk about equality but they have no equality in their society Prabhupada went to Russia in 1971 he was there in Moscow and he saw he said Prabhupada remarked he said one person was riding in a nice car and another person was sweeping the street so how can you say that everyone is equal when one person is riding in a nice car and someone else is just simply uh, sweeping the road in the public street collecting the garbage can you say you cannot say everyone is equal but on the spiritual platform people are equal if we understand our spiritual identity how we're all spiritual beings then you can understand the actual equality of the human society so we want to bring people to the spiritual platform on the material platform there will always be problems and nobody will be happy it's a fact it's just like you have one government 
one government comes in, they, they may do something, they may do some good, but they will also do some bad. They please some people, they cannot please everyone. It's impossible to please everyone. So we don't try to please everyone, we simply try to please Lord Krishna, because Lord Krishna is the Supreme. And if we can please Lord Krishna, then our life is successful. So Srila Prabhupada taught us like that. We're not very much interested in politics and so on, but we do understand the limitations of modern day politics. And we're trying to explain to people what is the ideal society. In the ideal society, there's a, there are divisions. We have an intellectual class, we have the administrative class, we have the mercantile class, and we have the working class. And this way, four divisions, Brahman, Kshatri, Vaisha, Sutra. And they should all cooperate together for the welfare of everyone in the community. So thank you very much. We'll stop there. We'll ask if there's any question. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, request everyone in case if they have any questions, kindly uh, you can unmute and you can ask uh, your questions. Uh, until people are ready with their questions, Maharaj, can I just uh, briefly um, try to summarize whatever you have said? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Okay, so जो हिंदी भाषी हैं उनके लिए मैं कोशिश करूँगी कि आज महाराज ने जो कहा है उसका थोड़ा संक्षिप्त में मैं कुछ बता पाऊँ। महाराज ने आज बताया कि जो ये सोसाइटी जो समाज है वो अगर ईश्वर हीन है या ऐसे लोगों के अगर उसको रूल करेंगे जो शिक्षित ना हो उच्च शिक्षित ना हो या निस्वार्थ ना हो तो ऐसे में साधारण मनुष्य जो है जो जन है उनको उसका नतीजा भुगतना पड़ेगा उसका परिणाम उनको भुगतना पड़ेगा ऊपर से दूसरा और एक महाराज ने ये बताया कि शौनकरिश ये अपने श्रींगे जो समीकरिशी के बेटे थे उन्होंने परिषद महाराज को जो श्राप दिया था तो वहाँ से बताया कि कैसे कि ब्राह्मण कल्चर का पतन हुआ और इसके कारण ऐसा होता है कि जो शत्रिय है उनको सही दिशा नहीं मिलने मिलेगी क्योंकि शत्रिय जो है वो राज्य की देखभाल करते हैं और सुरक्षा करते हैं पर अगर उनको गाइड करने के लिए कोई ब्राह्मण ना रहे उन्हीं का पतन हो जाए तो वो शत्रियों को कैसे राह दिखाएंगे और आगे महाराज ने ये भी बताया कि जैसे प्रभुपाद ने कहा था कि जरूरी है कि जैसे फ्रांस में जो रेवोल्यूशन हुआ था वैसे ही हमें भी अपने जीवन में अपने जीवन को बदलकर अच्छे स्तर पर लाना है जैसे कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस स्तर पे कृष्ण भावना मृत में क्योंकि ये सबसे बेस्ट रेवोल्यूशन होगा तो और ये जो होता है ये जो रेवोल्यूशन है ये जो है वो बिल्कुल ही शांति पूर्वक होता है तो इसमें जैसे प्रोपर कहते कि हमेशा इस भौतिक जगत में अलग अलग स्तर पे इंसान होगा बट आध्यात्मिक स्तर पे हर कोई एक हो सकता है या एक ही स्तर पे रह सकता है तो हमें अपने आप को अगर उठाना है वहां पे तो हमें कृष्ण भावना मृत अपनाना चाहिए और उसमें आगे बढ़ना चाहिए तो इसी के साथ हम लोग कोशिश करते हैं कि अगर किसी को कोई सवाल है तो महाराज यहाँ पर है और आपके सवालों के जवाब मिल सकते हैं तो काइंडली आप अपने आप को अनम्यूट करके पूछ सकते हैं वेल आई गेस देर आर नो क्वेश्चन महाराज हरे कृष्णा माताजी हरे कृष्णा गुरु महाराज प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय अंबल ओबी सेंसर्स ऑल गुरु लिस्ट टू शिल्प रोबर्ट आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन 
um how to uh, con- how to prove that uh, our krishna conscious movement is not religious sectarian movement because sometimes whenever uh, we approach people uh, that uh, we will uh, uh, give the knowledge of bhagavad gita or we will chant hare krishna mantra then they they, they are saying no 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 we don't want any religion we don't want uh, uh, krishna uh, you can uh, say something uh, common or uh, some things like that how to um, how to uh, convince among the modern society people have come atheistic and irreligious anti-religion because they see a lot of exploitation in the name of religion they see sometimes that religion simply takes away the the freedom of the people and even sometimes they take away the wealth of the people simply for the the temple or for the religious tradition itself they will come and take money take donations to build big temples and they say you don't care about the people people are starving and you're building big temples and worshiping deities in very gorgeous manners should go hungry of the instruction that where there's nobody should go hungry within five kilometers or ten kilometers of the temple he wanted that we should be content we should be caring and we see the devotees how how uh, during the lockdown period during the time of the pandemic how devotees in many parts of the world were very active in distributing food and when they distribute food they don't consider who the person is or what religion or what faith he has they're simply happy to just give them some food to feed them they were distributing meals to people of all different classes and uh, religions and faiths we're not concerned with that with their faith with People all may have different faiths. Somebody's by faith may be Hindu. Somebody's faith is Muslim. Somebody's faith is Christian. But the point is, there's one God. God is one. We're not interested in changing people's faith, but we do. We do try to educate people to understand that there is a a oneness, as you pointed out, that Krishna consciousness is not sectarian. There's one religion because there's one God. So religion is also one. And it's not a question of Hindu, Christian, Muslim, or Buddha, or whatever. There's simply one God. God is one. So religion is one. And that real, what is real religion? Religion is to love God. So Krishna consciousness movement is meant for this purpose. And we're meant to show love for all living entities. And we don't discriminate against people of one religion or or another. We we want to see God in the hearts of everyone. Now somebody may worship God by practicing Christianity or by practicing Islam or by practicing Buddhism. It, It doesn't make a difference. The important thing is that they should know that there's one God and that we are the servant of God and we all have that common relationship. So in this way, Krishna consciousness is non-sectarian. And we do see people of all different faiths and traditions appreciating 
Krishna consciousness. That they they will come. Sometimes they may join our dialogue. Sometimes they may take the food also, which we distribute. We encourage them also to chant the name of God. Now, you can chant. You don't have to chant only Krishna's name. You can chant other names. If you like to chant other names, it's no harm. But we encourage also the, the chanting of the names of God. So this is non-sectarian. And we're preaching the Bhagavad Gita everywhere, to everyone. And there's nowhere in the Bhagavad Gita where Krishna talks about Hindu or Muslim or Christian or anything. Krishna is simply speaking knowledge of the absolute truth. So people should read, they can read books like Bhagavad Gita. You can see, you can see it's very non, it's un, not, there's no question of sectarianism there in the message of Bhagavad Gita. It's universal message for everyone. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you so much. Uh, I think so, uh, we have okay. given a chance if anybody wanted to ask. I guess there's no one else wanting to ask. Uh, Maharaj, okay. thank you so much for your time and your association. You have truly made us uh, really fortunate that we could hear from you. And like uh, Mataji was reciting the shlokas and this particular line, it really clicked. Tirti Purvanti Tirthani. So like your, with your presence, actually, this place has become a kind of pil uh, pilgrimage for us. So in spite of not being able to visit frequently to the Dham, when you visit your, uh, and you give us an opportunity to serve you, it's itself a Dham for us. Thank you so much, Maharaj. And please forgive me for any kind okay, of... Okay, thank you also. <laughs> Okay. Hare Krishna, Shri Prabhupada Ki Hare Krishna. Okay, so uh, coming towards the end of the program, I would just request Radha Mata Mataji. Uh, Mataji, if there is any kind of uh, uh, special announcements that are to be done. Hare Krishna Mataji, thank yes. you very much. And also thank Maharaj for wonderfully explaining this.